In this video, we're going to take a look at adding and subtracting polynomials. In this first example we have, we are adding two polynomials. We're adding 4x cubed minus 2x plus 8 to the polynomial 3x cubed minus 9x squared minus 11x. Normally, with parentheses such as this problem, we would want to distribute through the parentheses. However, there's nothing really to distribute other than a positive 1, maybe, through these parentheses. So we could almost just ignore the parentheses as if they were not there, because there's nothing to distribute. In this case, we can see all we have to do is combine like terms in the expression. Let's start with the highest exponent and count down. 4x cubed and 3x cubed can, can be combined to give us 7x cubed. We also have a negative 9x squared with no like terms, so we'll just write negative 9x squared. There's also a 2x minus 11x, which is negative 9x. Finally, there's also the plus 8 to wrap out the expression. We have now added these polynomials together, giving us 7x cubed minus 9x squared minus 9x plus 8. This next problem, however, we are subtracting two polynomials. We're subtracting 5x squared minus 2x plus 7 and 3x squared plus 6x minus 4. Again, with the parentheses, we like to start by distributing, and there is something to distribute when it's a negative through the entire polynomial. The first polynomial is still the same, 5x squared minus 2x plus 7, but after distributing the negative through, we now have negative 3x squared, negative 6x, and positive 4. After changing the signs in the second polynomial, now we're ready to combine like terms. 5x squared minus 3x squared is 2x squared. Negative 2x minus 6x is negative 8x. And finally, 7 plus 4 is positive 11, and we have our solution. 2x squared minus 8x plus 11. So we can see with adding polynomials, all we are doing is combining like terms because there's nothing to distribute through the parentheses. With subtracting polynomials, we have to distribute the negative first, and then we can combine our like terms. Sometimes we could even consider a problem that's got both in it. 2x squared minus 4x plus 3 is added to the polynomial 5x squared minus 6x plus 1, and then the polynomial is subtracted x squared minus 9x plus 8. Here, we just have to first do any distributing necessary. This would be only the negative going through that next parentheses. With no other parentheses needed, we now have 2x squared minus 4x plus 3 plus 5x squared minus 6x plus 1, and then distributing the negative will change the signs, giving us negative x squared, positive 9x, and negative 8. We are now ready to combine like terms on this polynomial. 2x squared, 5x squared, and negative x squared give us 6x squared. We also have negative 4x minus 6x plus 9x, which will give us negative x. Finally, 3 plus 1 minus 8 gives us negative 4, and we have our final solution from adding and subtracting the polynomials of 6x squared minus x minus 4. Adding and subtracting polynomials simply requires distributing any negatives and then combining like terms.